This video will help identify necrotizing fasciitis and how to implement nursing care. This is Mr. Smith. He was diagnosed four days ago with cellulitis. He's returned to the ER. He has a past medical history of IV drug use, diabetes, and he is a known street person. How are you today? Oh, I'm in a lot of pain. You're in pain? What's going on? Oh, my arm hurts. Oh, yeah, I see you oh. have some cellulitis there. You are, you've been taking your medication? Yes. Yeah? Okay, I see you're in lots of pain. On a scale from 0 to 10, what would you rate it with 0 being nothing and 10 being the worst you've ever 20, had in your life? 20. 20? Okay, is it radiating or throbbing? What does it feel everything. like in there? It feels like it's all everything. over my arm. Your whole arm? Okay, is there anything that, that might have caused it to start hurting? Did you bang it or was there anything that precipitated this? <laughs> okay, is there anything that is, has stopped the pain for you? Morphine. Morphine? Okay. And when was the last time you had your morphine? Yesterday. Yesterday? Okay. Uh, we're just going to have to take a look at that, okay? All right. Can I see your arm, Mr. Smith? Oh. oh. So I see there's some um, non-pitting edema past the point of redness. I see that. So we're just going to go need to get a doctor's order for that pain medication. We'll be right back. Okay. So what do you think? Well, he's been diagnosed with cellulitis. It's going to be painful. I think he's just seeking more drugs. His last dose was yesterday. Maybe he's out of money. I just read an article on NF the other day, and he has two hallmark symptoms, which is pain disproportionate to his wound and non-pitting edema past the point of redness. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know those were hallmark symptoms. What do we do now? We need to get a CNS, a CT scan, and his lab work stat because if he doesn't get help, his tissue destruction could be one inch per hour and he may die from sepsis. Oh my goodness. Maybe we should go in and outline it so we can keep track of if it's spreading or not. Yes, let's do that. Okay. I'm just going to make a mark on your arm, okay, Mr. Smith? Oh. Oh my goodness, Katrina, I got his, the results of his CT scan back. I've never seen this before. Take a look. There are pockets of gas in his soft tissue. And I just got his lab work back. It's very abnormal. He has increased white blood cells, decreased platelets, anemia, hyponatremia, hypocalcemia, and an increase in creatinine phosphokinase. We should go check his wound to see if it's expanded. Okay. So, Rose. I see that the area is extended past the point that we've marked it, and the tissue is also turning a little gray and blue. How's your pain, Mr. It Smith? It hurts. It hurts. Okay, we're going to be right back. We'll come back with your morphine, okay? Get that pain under control. So, Rose, I think that our patient may have NF. We need to call the doctor and get him into the OR for surgical debridement. Okay.